Okay, so this is uh, Carl Strauss's special beer they did for this San Diego Brewers Guild Festival. This is their uh, SDBW Licorice Stout. So they actually use Brewers Licorice in here. Yeah, you do get some of that in there. You get, some, you get like roasted malt, you get some of that licorice. Maybe a, just a hint of like dark chocolate in there. It's really tasty. Great beer from Carl Strauss. This is one worth getting, going to the brewery and getting. It's just like a tap only beer. They brew specifically for this week. So, uh, the guy, I was just talking with the guy and he said that it smelled up the whole brew house for like two weeks with this beer. So, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Can I try the, the, the full sweet Belgium? Is this one new or? I haven't no, seen this around, no? No, it's, it's been around for about two years. It's been around? It's good. It's uh, cool. Belgian style brown ale, so you get a lot of that close spiciness, but I mean, it's kind of infused with He's a big Belgian, brown ale. Belgian cool. Ale. You'll man, dig it in. So. Awesome, man. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Give it up for Mary Sanders. Gloria, like 50 hits. <laughs> <laughs> that was That's last violent. year, folks. That was last year. Drink <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 like a chicken. <laughs> oh. It ain't gonna pour until you spoil it. You gotta stick the bun in the top. <laughs> Adam, spoil it. Tilt it. Tilt it. Oh. No, it's the top. This is an empty keg. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Diving, Adam. So this is Carl Strauss. We just had their liquor stout. This is the uh, full suit Belgian brown ale. It's like your kind of your typical brown ale, medium body, but then it's got that nice kick from the Belgian yeast on there. Real nice, adds a little fruitiness, a little spiciness to it. Something a little extra that you can get in a lot of American and English style brown ales. So it's uh, pretty tasty. This is the uh, winter seasonal. I will try to do a full review on it if I can get a six pack. So this is uh, Alpine's Bad Boy. This is the double IPA. Alpine's, what do you have? Alpine's Duet. Alpine Duet right there. Which, he, which the guys are saying is like a week old. So it's like... It smells super hoppy. Yeah, this is like the freshest like Alpine you're going to get right here. It's as good as it gets right here. For, for, uh, oh wow, that's... Um, you get a little slight breadiness on the malt, but uh, just pounded with citrus, hot notes, grapefruit. I mean, this is double IPA, but it's hoppy as can be. This is up there. How's two I taste it? Hops. It almost tastes like grapefruit. Now that you mentioned yeah, yeah. grapefruit, but is that in this as well? Or? Sure. Yeah, grapefruit. You got like tropical fruits, like a like a mango or. A, that kind of thing in there. The hops, are, the hops are standing out more. You know, they're they're filling. But it up. finishes really smooth, right? Yeah, it does. That's the thing about it duet. Like, yeah. Duet is hoppy, but it finishes like really smooth. And um, but this bad boy's like, this is like, this is really hot. This is almost reminding me of like. Um, 
like a Maharaja, Avery Maharaja. It smells, more potent. it smells more potent than it tastes, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the thing with Duet. Duet is big on aroma and flavor. The actual bitterness is pretty a little lighter. It's doable, it's not that bad. You know? Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah I, I, I love Alpine. I mean... Let's try this? Yeah, let's switch, let's switch Which there. this? That's the bad boy double. Bad boy double? All right, so we're doing um, Duet here. I've had this in the bottle, did a re written review for it. It's one of the best smelling beers you can get, especially for hops. Oh yeah, this is this is like ultra grapefruit, tropical fruits, but then it, it like finishes so smooth. It's so freaking smooth. It's like unbelievable. This one is bready. It's super bready. Yeah, that one's really bready. This one's so smooth. It's like you get that real big hops. And then it just finishes really mellow. It, like it, it balances a, out. It tastes like it just took a bite of bread, dude. Yeah, there's like, a ton of breadiness on there. Like a French roll, you know? Like a French roll? Okay, that's so one way. Good lacing on this one, too. Check out the lacing. That's how fresh that is. I mean, a beer that fresh is going to leave lacing like that. I mean, hops. Oh, God. This is like. This is why we're here at San Diego Beer Week. This is the hop capital of the world. All right, so there's our buddies at Iron Fist. Located in Vista, a lot of people are trying their stuff for the first time. So they're pouring out their, uh, their uh, Coast beer and their uh, Belgian style double. So we've already tried their beers. I'll be doing some reviews of their stuff. So say them from that time. Garden beers. All right, so this is a uh, green flash celebrating eight years old here at San Diego Beer Week. This is their eighth anniversary IPA. Oh, it's really crisp, really refreshing, very hoppy as you expect from them. A little cleaner, a little uh, crisper than the West Coast IPA, but. West Coast IPA, citrus character, some pininess. Excellent beer. <laughs> this eighth anniversary is really freaking hoppy. I mean, this is almost on par with Powder Record. This is really freaking hoppy beer. Well, all right. Very appropriate for uh, Green Flash in San Diego. <laughs> yeah, just a hop bomb. I mean, it's just like bitter as can be. All right. IPA. They have two IPAs. They have their uh, Islander IPA, and then this is the Idiot. Just yeah, completely West Coast style. Bitter as can be. Uh, you got the just major grapefruit going on. Super quality. A little bit of pineyness, but uh, got just that. Another typical uh, San Diego IPA from Coronado. If you're ever in, on the island or near downtown, check them out. Alright, we're at uh, Ballast Point here. It's official. Sculpin is in a six pack now. Double Dorado? Nah, uh, just keep that at your own festival. Don't waste the good stuff here. Cheers. Cheers. I've been enjoying your beer reviews. Thanks, man. I stand there in the barber. Four There's a lot of 
people here right now. I'm drinking on some Ballast Point Double Dorados. They're double IPA. Think sculpin, but doubled up, and uh, that's what you got here. It's an excellent beer. A little sweetness in it, but uh, definitely hop forward. Real like sweet uh, orange peel. Big time orange, a little bit of grapefruit. Excellent IPA. But I have a good IPAs all day. Take a look at uh, New English Brewing Company. So they're doing traditional British style beer. Take a look at their ESB and their brown ale. See how they are. New English Brewing Company. Oh, thanks, man. Am I going to be on YouTube later? Uh, possibly. You might be, yeah. BeerGeekNation.com. Thanks so much, man. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers, man. So we got a brown ale. Actually, one of the better brownies I've had. This is really tasty. Got a nice roasted flavor, a little bit of caramel. I'm pretty impressed by it, actually. So this brown ale is, uh, it's got some hops in there as well to keep it from being too sweet. Not bad. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, brown ale from Alesmith, which is one of probably my favorite brown ale of all time. So here's the uh, the New English Brewing Company. It's their Explorer ESB. As is the West Coast style, this is a, a hot forward ESB. Much more hoppy than a traditional uh, English style. Beer.